Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telesco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about link list and array list okay so not exactly the theory of what but we'll talk about the difference between link list and array list right now first some similarities both are the implementation of list interface so in java if you talk about collection api so we have lots of interfaces right we have list interface we have set interface we have map interface and if you talk about link list and array list both are the implementation of list interface so they have they belong to the same family right but still there are some difference now let's say we, if you want to work with link list or array list the main agenda here to to use this is you want to add values as per your requirements example if you use arrays what happens with arrays with uh, with arrays is you have you have a fixed size of an array right so let's say if you have an array of five elements or six elements you can only have six to seven five to six elements right you cannot go beyond that so we want to create a dynamic array here and to create a dynamic array we normally use array list right because in array list you can add more values as per your requirements you can uh, expand the size of an array list you can shrink it you can you know you can you, you can do all those stuff with array list right the same thing is possible with link list you can do the same thing you can add elements and you can remove elements the difference is the difference is their implementation so array list is implemented with the help of a concept of dynamic array and uh, link list is is implemented with the concept of double linked list now what it means so let's talk about dynamic array so how have you stored values in dynamic array is you have a array in which the initial capacity will be 10 okay so the initial capacity of this array will be 10 elements so even if you add five elements you have a capacity of 10 elements if you go beyond 10 elements it will increase the size by 50 percent which is uh, it will increase the capacity of uh, till 15 so initially it will be 10 then after later it will be 15 capacity right and then you can go beyond that also so what what it does so let's say you have elements which is let's say five then you have seven then you have eight or then let's not write in this way let's have an element in sequence so let's say we have five we have seven we have eight we have 12 we have 21 we have two we have three so let's say we have this seven elements here and what we'll do is we'll try to assign some index number right of course your array list works with index number so let's say index number for five is zero so then we have two three four or five and six so this is your index numbers right so for every element here we'll be having an index number so what happens when you add the element in between so let's say uh, we have zero we have one and two so let's say i want to add an element between this so let's say before after 12 i want to add an element here so let's say if i if i add element which is let's say 16 so i want to add 16 after 12 and bef between uh, before 21 so what we should write so we have to specify that this 16 will go to index number four right so 16 will take the index number four and the other other values will take the next index numbers what it means so 16 will be here so this 21 will go down this 2 will go down right so this becomes 16 this becomes 21 this becomes 2 and then we'll be having 3 within the in index number 7 right so if you add any value in between it will update the next element so it, we have to change the index number of every element right so it is time consuming right you are ad you are adding elements later so it will of course it will take some time so it is time consuming right so that's the problem with array list there's one more problem if you remove an element so let's say if you remove this element eight now so as soon as you remove eight all these elements will they will go up what it means uh, so eight is now three or eight is now two as soon as you remove eight 12 becomes three or 12 becomes two then we have so all this index number will shift up right it will take again it will take some time so when you talk about data structure we use this uh, big o notation right so we specify one it we specify n so if you add element if you if you want to uh, add and remove element so it will affect your time right so big o notation represents your time complexity right so add a list when you add elements in between it will take it is time consuming right what about linked list 
since linked list follows the concept of double linked list uh, in which uh, every element you add so let's say if you add element which is 5 so this is the starting element here so this will start with 5 as soon as you add let me write it here so we have 5 as soon as you add the element so what it will do it will make a node of it so this is your node in this node you will be having two things one will be the next node and one will be previous node so this is p previous node and next node right then if you add 7 in between so if you add 7 here so this is 7 it will have two things uh, it will have p and n right so this 5 will mention that the next node is this 7 is the next node right if you have 7 the next element is let's say 8 so this is 8 here and then again we'll be having two things uh, we'll be having so this is 8 we'll be having next node and previous node right so for 7 the previous node is 5 right and for 7 the next node is oh that's o that's n so next node is h right and previous node is 7 now as soon as you add an element let me write one more let me just for the demonstration let's take 12 here so we have 2 p and n we have 12 and this next node for 8 the next node is 12 and the for for 12 the previous node is 8 right now as soon as you add an element right so if you add an element in between let's say after 7 and 8 i'm adding a new element which is let's say uh 32 so i want to add this element between so let me just write it 32 here it will be having two things p and n right so as soon as you add this new element you just have to change something what that something is instead of this next element which refers to 8 from 7 you have to refer to 32 now and from 32 you have to refer the next element to the 8 the previous element for 32 is this one and the previous element for 8 will be 32 right so we, just, we, are, we are just changing two objects here or two nodes this will not affect the number of nodes you have after that and it will not affect the number of nodes before that okay so it is very good when you want to add elements in between because linked list follows the concept of double linked list and array list follows the concept of dynamic array okay so in this situation who wins of course linked list right because when you add elements in between linked list is much faster than array list right so this is fast if you want to assign the value in between this is slow when you want to assign the value in between okay now next next criteria now let's say you want to fetch some values you don't want to add values now you want to fetch values whenever you want to fetch value you have to use index numbers right so in add a list you can specify the index number so it is very easy to search but in linked list it is difficult to search right so in case of searching this becomes slow and this becomes fast okay so it's all depend upon your requirements so if you want to add elements so again the question will be which is better which one to use so it's depend upon your requirements so let's say uh, if you want to add elements in between of course you will be going for linked list if you want to just fetch the values depend upon the index number you can use add a list and majorly we always use add a list we don't use linked list much in the project but if your requirement is you want to add elements in between a uh, time is very important at that time always go for linked list okay again we have the practical for this again you can search for linked list practical in my channel so you will get that video okay so that's it from this video that's the basic understanding of how linked list and array list, array list works and their uh, comparison so thanks for watching and uh, yeah so question for this session uh, so the question will be which company uh, yeah so java belongs to which company now so name the company uh, java belongs to okay so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos